Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. As we get into the back end of the trading week, we're hearing some rumors that Google are going to put a really harsh penalty on employees that do not get vaccinated in the near future or have not been yet and, and going into the back or back into the office environment as they will actually get fired uh, basically an internal memo obtained by a news reader told staff they must upload documents proving their vaccination vaccination status and those that did not will be placed on temporary leave before being fired so this is quite an extraordinary um, comment from such a big tech provider as you know one usually one tech provider does one thing and then the rest follows Follow suit. So it'll be interesting to see if any other companies take this stance as we go into 2022 and battle this next wave of the virus uh, known as Omicron. Um, so, you know, failing to comply with vaccine policies could ultimately lose people's jobs in the future. A spokesperson did say, as we've stated before, our vaccination requirements are one of the most important things with people getting back to work and also with the economy turning around again. And the approach to office working is mixed uh, with the tech giants and complicated with the US regulations as well as they keep on changing so we'll see if uh, well, what happens in the future with other big Silicon Valley giants first of all and then moving on to other companies after that and another com uh, company in the headlines is Tesla after a well Paris's biggest taxi firm have stopped using their model 3 vehicles after a fatal crash that happened recently and injured 20 people after um, a driver lost control of the vehicle uh, Tesla has denied any technical problem with the car which has self-driving features that, such as automatic steering so we've heard this story before from Tesla vehicle where it has actually uh, well the automatic self-driving mechanism has not worked and it's resulted in a crash so we'll see if that's going to affect stocks uh, going forward as well as in, as uh, you know it only takes one big uh, incident like this to start a chain reaction for companies to stop using the vehicle so looking at Google first of all today you know I've been tracking Google since uh, this last dip which we saw at the beginning of the pandemic and we've seen this extraordinary rise in prices as it's pretty much like a hummingbird scenario where we've been hitting these peaks and having a bit of retracement hitting peaks and coming back again the next peaks uh, importantly the next peak that we have hit we've seen this consolidation now in prices and a slight move lower uh, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud as well I'll just zoom in to the areas of interest a little bit more and what we're doing what we're seeing now is um, the Ichimoku cloud having an engulfment once again like it has done in previous sessions however this time we're looking at sideways movement whereas before we weren't really that lucky I'll just put this into a different color obviously it will help quite a lot okay we'll bring that forward to back Okay, we won't go with that uh, design then. Basically, what I wanted to point out at the moment is the fact that we are looking at a little bit of a sideways channel. This probably would have been a better way to describe it. So a sideways, slight descending channel as well. So we'll see if that actually has an impact on prices going forward as obviously we are, have been hitting fresh high after fresh high over the past two years. So, you know, a lot of analysts are waiting for a big retracement in the stock as, you know, uh, usually some stocks can't go on forever having more and more uh, vast upturns and upswings as well and just looking at the RSI it's pretty much going on point at the moment we did see a bit of a bearish divergence uh, previously uh, that has brought prices a bit lower However, as you can see here, it just depends on how low uh, Google prices will start sinking before there will be an upswing again, if there is an upswing. As I said, it ha is having a bit of a hummingbird scenario looking at it at the moment. And just a quick look on Tesla. Tesla were always pretty much looking at, at the every at least once a week to see what the advantages are of the stock. At the moment, we are in a serious downturn for Tesla. It has had some negative headlines over the last few weeks, and we are looking to see if there's going to be any opportunities of of any upswing at the moment as you can see the the uh, cloud is very very thin <clears throat> excuse me on the Ichimoku 
cloud. The top border uh, has been pierced and we have crashed through the entire um, cloud on the daily chart, but there's not really too much sentiment on the RSI or MACD oscillators as well. So, or any oscillators for that matter, actually. So when looking at price action, we're just gonna see if we see another bit of a support uh, around this area, around the 940, 950 area, and then another push to the upside. Looking on the four hour chart as well, we are seeing that prices are really starting to come uh, to the downside. And we'll just see if that how detrimental that, that's gonna be. Uh, because we could see another swing, another leg lower, and then that would mean a little bit more bias on the downside. But we'll see, as I said, in the next few trading sessions, we've got earnings season uh, finishing. However, we are starting to um, look towards the end of the quarter and the end of the year, which could prove significant for a lot of the stocks. And then, of course, as we get into January in the first few weeks, then we'll have earnings season starting again for a lot of the major companies. So we'll see how that plays out. So once again, that's all for today thank you very much for joining me and if you have any comments or queries please add them to the post on our youtube channel and we'll speak again soon bye for now